controlling parental controls thanks for coming back make sure you subscribe and you like comment on the video let me know how I did so first things we're going to go into in settings and parental controls and the iPhone is called screen time first thing you want to do is set up a passcode so this is a cool feature because you can put in an Apple ID which will allow you to if you forget you can reset it don't put your kids in otherwise they will be able to reset it so first function is downtime very cool function because you can decide when your child's phone should be shutting off most of its features maybe during the school day you give them less time and at least for me on the weekends I give my kids more time app limits is maybe you have a kid that likes a game during the day or they listen to a lot of music or podcasts you can limit one app at a time or you can limit multiple apps and so they all share that same amount of limited time really cool function next one is always allowed essentially you are choosing which apps will be allowed all the time if the phone is on that app is allowed for my kids it's messages it's FaceTime it's calculator you decide obviously what you want to put there so the next one is kind of confusing it's content and privacy restrictions you'll notice the App Store is there so we're gonna go under that and we're gonna talk about the iTunes and App Store purchases so if you don't allow the App Store now you can see the App Store is not there anymore I can't even search for it which is a really cool function and it's impossible to get around um, next one deleting apps I have that on for my kids but in-app purchases absolutely is off. I don't want my kids trying to buy things. The second one we're going to talk about right here, allowed apps. This is a legacy function. This is what parental controls used to look like. The only things I have turned off, iTunes Store, Bookstore, and News. Um, big one up here people get wrong is Safari. Safari doesn't turn off the app. It just turns, it turns off the app only, not the function. What actually will turn off the entire function of the websites we'll talk about in about five seconds. So I make all these clean. About the bottom one, I actually leave it at 17 plus so that way my kids can use Messenger, but there's a lot more specificity on that sort of thing. So talking about Safari, I I always recommend parents should at least select limit adult websites. This is so important. This is the most dangerous part of a child's phone. Because if they have adult websites, they can get porn, gambling, a whole bunch of bad stuff. I personally limit the amount of websites they're allowed to see. So if you see like Scholastic right here is, is not allowed. However, I can allow it, right? My, sis, my kid says, hey, I need Scholastic for school. Can you type in the passcode? Yep, I do. And then it's allowed on their phone. Easy peasy. <laughs> So let's go back into content restrictions. There's a couple of other stuff that's going on over here. So if you go down, um, web search content. This is with Siri. And the reason that I don't allow this one is I'll show you. So Siri, search for baseball pictures. You can see why I might want to limit this function. Also, I limit the function that allows Siri to swear at you, which is the explicit language function. Um, next one, this is Game Center. This is what I have. I'm not going to go into the ands if more buts. I'm trying to make this video a lot shorter for you. I, I'm not going to mess with privacy, but I will talk about the allowed changes. I don't allow passcode changes or account changes. I don't want other people signing into my kid's phone. Not cool. So uh, on new iPhones, however, this middle one is the only new one. It's called Communication Limits. It's a really cool function. Maybe you have a really annoying friend that uh, your kid talks to way too much. You can actually decide, say, hey, you only have 30 minutes of time on your phone a day to communicate with this person. And that includes texting and or phone calls. Obviously, it doesn't limit Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp. All those other ones so I really hope you enjoyed this video please drop a comment let me know how I'm doing and 
like, subscribe, and tell me what you would like to see for the next video. What phones are you using? Because I am testing everything. We're going to do a Covenant Eyes review in the next month or so. So stay tuned and God bless.